Manuel Borda Paub. Welcome to Mrs. Richards Reads at 10 a.m. in the morning. How exciting! Let's start with our good morning song. Barod in die tree. Boreda, Boreda, sit tighty, sit tighty. Die on the oak, die on the oak, Boreda, Boreda. Now, yesterday we read about Winnie's birthday party, didn't we? And one of the presents she had was this flying carpet of her sister's. And this story is the sequel because it tells you all about the problems she has with her flying carpet. Look at these. What a fantastic picture this one is. And it tells you usually. Uh, so, these ones were drawn by Freya Elsie. And then the back ones, and she was she's 11. And the back papers are by Fraser McGregor, aged 8. Hey, fantastic pictures. Wow. Now, those children are quite a bit older now because this book is 12 years old. So this girl, well, both of them are adults now. Whew. Where does the time go? Barrod. Winnie the Witch was busy writing letters. They were thank you letters for her birthday presents. Oh, how polite. Now, there was only one left, the trickiest letter. Winnie's sister, Wilma Wander and Wendy, had given her her flying carpet. Winnie had always wanted a flying carpet. But this flying carpet had been a disappointment. Actually, it had been a disaster. I don't think Wilma should be behind there with all those leaves. I think that's quite dangerous. Look at all those thank you letters. That must take her ages and cost her a fortune in stamps. There was the time it got tangled in Winnie's washing. And the day it tipped over as they would pass over a duck pond. And then one day it turned a corner too quickly. After that, Winnie rolled up the carpet, tied it with string, put it in the broom cupboard and locked the door. Oh dear, so she doesn't like that flying carpet, does she? But Winnie wanted to write something nice about the carpet in her thank you letter. She unlocked the door, untied the carpet and spread it out on the armchair. It is a beautiful carpet, she thought. It seems a pity not to use it. So Winnie decided to give it one more chance. Just then, the doorbell rang. Ding dong! Winnie hurried off to answer it. Just as Wilbur came inside, after a busy morning ch climbing trees and chasing butterflies, he was ready for a sleep. The sun was shining on the flying carpet. It looked so warm and comfortable that Wilbur jumped up and in one minute... He was snoring. The flying carpet waited one more minute. Then it rose gently up into the air. Wilbur didn't wake up. It flew gently around the room. Wilbur didn't wake up. Look, the window is open. Then it zoomed out the window. Wilbur woke up. Meow! He cried. Winnie heard him. She looked up just in time to see the flying carpet zoom into the sky. It's a really naughty flying carpet. Oh no, cried Winnie. She grabbed her magic wand and her broomstick and she zoomed up into the sky after them. Winnie flew as fast as her broomstick could go, but the carpet was faster. It swooped over the clock tower and under a bridge. Winnie followed it. Hang on tight, Wilbur, she called. Meow, cried Wilbur. Then the carpet flew over a fun fair. What fun! First it whizzed down the roller coaster rocket. Win Winnie whizzed down behind it. Does Wilbur look like he's having much fun? Then it tried the terrible twister. The flying carpet was having a wonderful time. Wilbur was having a horrible time. Winnie was worried she would never catch them. Then she had an idea. She waved her magic wand and shouted. What did she shout? Abracadabra! And everything stopped. Nothing whizzed or zoomed or shrieked or splashed. All was still, including the flying carpet. Wilbur jumped onto Winnie's shoulder. Prr, prr, he said. Then Winnie rolled up the magic, the flying carpet. Let's go home, Wilbur, she said. Bye, broomstick. Winnie waved her magic wand backwards. There I am. 
Abracadabra, she shouted, and everything started again. Wee, zoom, whiz, vroom. Winnie and Wilbur landed in Winnie's garden. Winnie frowned at the flying carpet. What could she do with it? Could she turn it into a hat, an umbrella, a very posh boots, or a waistcoat for Wilbur? Then Winnie had a wonderful idea. She shut her eyes, waved her wand and shouted, Abracadabra! And there, tied to two trees, was a beautiful hammock. Winnie and Wilbur climbed in. They were both very tired. The hammock rolled gently in the breeze. This is so comfortable, Wilbur, said Winnie. But Wilbur didn't hear her. He was already fast asleep. Oh! Thank goodness she managed to save poor Wilbur on that flying carpet. Now my challenge to you today is where would you like to visit on your flying carpet? I'd love to see your flying carpet designs and where you would like to visit. Shall we do our good morning song? Uh, our goodbye song. Miss Richards reversed herself then. I went back in time. Barod, in, die, tree. Hail vow, friend yai, hail vow, friend yai, hail vow, friend yai, my name said, wait, hail vow, to Ralura Bantani, 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 to Ralura Bantani, my name said, wait, hail vow, hail vow, see you soon.